there is something that I want to say. I have finally realized that everything that is happening is only really happening because of Papu and you. You decided you wanted to get married to Verinda, and now you are trying to trick Lovely into getting married to Papu. The truth about you is that you're as cunning as a fox. I have no doubt that if Chani knew about this, she would definitely have told me about it. Be honest. Did you have any idea that Papu and Lovely were seeing each other? Jersey, it's true. I knew everything, but... Jersey, Jersey, will you listen to what I have to say, please? <laughs> Don't talk to me, Chani. I promise you I'm not going to go anywhere until you agree to forgive me. All right. Well, then I will leave. No, Jesse, I'm going to go instead. <laughs> we love each other so much that we can't live without each other. Our marriage works because he treats me as an equal. The foundation of any relationship can only be love. I'm going to pray that the love in your heart and your thoughts never change. <laughs> Be careful. You are married to somebody now. The time has come for you to stop asking Jussie for everything. You have a wife now. And Chani, look, you should know it is your duty in this house to look after your husband. No one else will do it, got it? Yes, Mother. Oh, just look how beautiful you look. <laughs> Let go of her! You beast! Mm. Could you come here for a few days, Chani? The girls need a tutor to help them with their schoolwork. Karina's exams are coming up, and they need a tutor. Chani is worried about them. She wants to help them. You don't care about what Chani wants, do you? Or Poonam's daughter's schoolwork. You're just looking for an excuse to send Chani away from here. Not this time. I'm not going to fall for your tricks anymore. Jussie wasn't interfering. I was the one who asked her to talk to you. What? You sent Jussie to convince me? While you're nurturing your new relationships, you must try not to forget about the old ones. Ah, Punam, hello. I know you asked Chani to go there for four days. She can't do it. But if you would like it, she'll come there in the morning and return back home the same night. Well, I am Papu's girlfriend now. Papu and I love each other very much. Huh? And we have gotten married to one another. But Papu is married, I'm told. What? They just told me they're married. Do I still have a place in your life? How wrong were we to think nothing could ever change between us two? Chani? <coughs> but when did you arrive? How'd you get here? I arrived about two hours ago. I didn't come here alone. A shop dropped me off. So then tell me why. Why did you decide to lock your door then? Why lock it last night? I was just thinking, uh... Stop. You know the answer is very clear. I do know that I'm part of your life now. But I felt there was someone else in your heart and mind. If I'd known that my running away from you would have brought you closer to me than ever before, I would have done it a long time ago. 70% sale? What? Jussie isn't coming? I'm telling you, that was Virender. It's definitely him riding his bike on his way home. Oh, I brought you this. Jewelry! There are two reasons why your husband would give you surprise gifts. Firstly, because he has done something wrong. Or instead, it could be that maybe he did not do something that he was supposed to have done. Come to Jalando with me. Your sons are both settled down now, so you should come help me out a little bit. Just come with me to Jalanda. Yes, Mom. You should go. It'll be a nice change for you. Boo! 
<gasps> what if I'd fallen? I would have just caught you then. Could you have done that? Yes. <gasps> what? Where's your other earring gone? There is one room I didn't check. I'll go check now. But where? In my bedroom. But why would it be in there? How did she drop it? I don't know, but I have to search for the earring, so I'll talk to you later. <laughs>